so till now we have had a look at a couple of experiments so we have seen the experiment of rolling a dice once and we have solved some problems on it then we have seen the experiment of uh, taking a bag full of random balls of different colors and drawing a ball or drawing two balls out of it and we have solved some questions again on that experiment now let's move on to the third kind of experiment that you will of often come across while solving probability questions so this is the experiment where we roll two dices together so if you look at the question here tells us that there are two unbiased dice which one of them is green in color and one of them is red in color now we roll these two dices together the question asks us to calculate the probability of getting an even number in the green dice and an odd number in the red dice so we have rolled two dice together so both the numbers that we get in the two dices in the green dice we should get an even number and in the red dice we should get an odd number so now let's draw the pcc for this question and try to analyze this question so the first thing that we'll again look at is what is the experiment that we are performing so the experiment that we are performing is we are rolling two un unbiased dice together now let's try and calculate let's try and figure out the sample space for this experiment now the sample space here is a little more complex as opposed to rolling of one dice because when we roll one dice we know that the sample space will be any of these numbers so the outcome that we get will be one of these numbers so i can either get 1 2 or 4 5 6 so this forms the sample space of rolling a dice once but now here since we are rolling two dice together we have two dices that both follow this sample space so now the sample space of these two dice combined together is going to be a little different why because i will get a sample space which will resemble something like this so i can get one in the first die and i can get one in the second die so this is one outcome or one result of rolling two dice together so this is the this is one of the outcomes now i can still get one in the first die and i can get two in the second die so that is also an outcome so that brings up brings us one comma two now similarly i can get one in the first die till i get six in the second die so i can get one 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 two one three one four one five and one six right so the first die gives me the number one and the second die gives me the number one two six now the first die can also give me the number two because that is also part of the outcome of the dice itself so this value is also included in the sample space why because this is also a possible outcome i can get the number two in the first die and i can get the number one in the second die so similarly if we keep on doing this we'll keep getting sets of different values that we can get so we can get one 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 two one six we can get two one two two six 3 1 to 3 6, 4 1 to 4 6, 5 1 to 5 6, and 6 1 to 6 6. So this, the, all these values combined together form the sample set of us rolling two dice together. So if we draw a table to represent the sample space of this particular experiment, it will look something like this. So here on the top, we have the sample space of the green dice. Right? We can get the number 1 to 6 in the green dice. And here we have the sample space of the red dice. So we can get the number 1 through to 6 from the second dice also, from the red dice as well. So the values that we can get for both the dice combined together will take this format. So if we get 1 in the red die and 1 in the green die, this is the value that we'll get. If we get 1 in the red die, 2 in the green die, then this is the value we'll get. So if we try and combine all the values, this is the table that we'll end up with. So this is the complete sample space or the complete set of outcomes that we get from the experiment of rolling two dice simultaneously. So if we calculate how many values are there, we can see there are six values in this column and there are six, there are six rows and six columns. So the total number of values that we have are six into 
six, which is thirty-six. So the sample space of this particular experiment contains thirty-six values. So if I write the sample space in short, I can write something like this: one one two one six, comma two one two two six. Similarly, six one two six six. So this is the sample space that we get when we roll two different dice together. Now the next thing that we need to figure out is what is a favorable event for our question. So our question asks us to find the probability of getting an even number in the green dice and an odd number in the red dice. So our favorable event is getting an even number in the green dice and odd number in the red dice. So if we look at this table of the sample space. we can see that all the values that are in this column or in this column or in this column have an even value in the green dice right because the even values in 1 to 6 are 2 4 and 6 so all these columns have values in which the green dice gives an even number now look at these rows so all these rows have values in which the val the number that comes in the red dice is an odd number why because 1 3 and 5 are odd numbers so all the values in these rows have an odd number in the red uh, red dice so if we look at the intersection of these three rows and these three columns the values that we get are and similarly for the row with 5 in the red dice so these are the values if we look at all these values these are the values where we have an even number in the green dice and an odd number in the red dice similarly here also 4 in the green dice 1 3 and 5 in the red dice 6 in the green dice 1 3 and 5 in the red dice so these nine values out of these this table contain an even number in the green dice and an odd number in the red dice if you look at all the other numbers in this table they all have either both odds or both evens only these values or an even number in the red die and an odd number in the uh, green die so only these nine values satisfy our criteria which is put in this question so the favorable event that we have here is the collection of these values so we have 1 1 2 one, 1 4 1 6 then we have the row with 3 so 3 2 3 4 3 and then we have the row with 5 so 5 2 5 4 and 5 6 so these nine values form the set which is our favorable event now the number of favorable events so the number of favorable events are the total number of values which are present in the favorable event set so if we calculate 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 so we get nine values in total which form our favorable set so the number of favorable events are nine now the number of total events so the number of total events are all the elementary values all the elementary outcomes which are present in the sample space of the experiment so this table represents the sample space of the experiment so we saw that there are six rows in this table and six columns in this table so the total number of values in this table is 6 into 6 which is 36 so the sample set consists of 36 different elementary events so the total number of events here is 36 so now now we all know how to calculate the probability right so the probability is given by the ratio between these two values number of favorable events and the number of total events so if we calculate the probability here 
we can say the, that the probability is 9 by 36. Why? Because the number of favorable events are 9, as we saw in the favorable event set, and the number of total events are 36, that we can see from the table of the sample space. So this is nothing but 1 by 4. So the probability of us getting an even number in the green dice and an odd number in the red dice, when we throw two dice, one green in color and one red in color simultaneously is 1 by 4. So now let's look at the second part of this question. So in the second part of this question, we will keep the same experiment, we'll roll two un unbiased dice and we'll look at a different question that is put upon that same experiment. So if you look at the question here, it again says that we have two unbiased dice, one green in color and one red in color and we roll both of them together. Now we have been asked to calculate the probability of getting the sum of the numbers on both the dice. So the first dice will bring up some number and the second dice will also bring up some number. Now the sum of these two numbers should be greater than 8. So we have to calculate the probability of the event that we get two numbers on these dice when, when they give the result and the sum of these two numbers is greater than 8. So now let's again create the PCC and try and analyze this problem. So the experiment that we are doing, doing here is the same. So we are rolling two dice together. So there's no change in that. Now the sample space is again going to be the same as we saw in the first part of the question. So let us not calculate it again. We have the table in front of us. So let's use this table again. So we see that there are six rows and six columns. This is the same sample space of the same experiment that we calculated last time. So as we know, this has a total of 36 values or a total of 36 different outcomes that can happen when we throw the dice together. So the sample space is again the same. It's 11216, 21226, similarly 61266. So let's try to understand the favorable event on this table of the sample space. So here we see that this diagonal has only one element, which is one and one. Now this gives us the sum two. If we look at the next diagonal, which is two one and one two. So this diagonal, both the values if we add up, so two plus one is three, one plus two is three. So this diagonal gives us the value 3. Similarly, the next diagonal gives us the value 4. 3 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 1 plus 3. So this gives us 4. If we keep drawing, if we keep drawing such diagonals, we'll keep getting different sums. So this will give us 5, 6 to the last element of the sample space. So the last element of the sample space is 6 comma 6. So this gives us the sum of 12. Now no other element in this whole sample space gives us the value of uh, the sum as 12. So if we go from this side, we see that this diagonal gives us the value 11. Then the next diagonal gives us the value 10. The next diagonal gives us the value 9. And similarly the next diagonal gives us the value 8. So now we want to calculate the sum of the probability of getting the sum of numbers on both the dice to be greater than 8. So all the values in which we are getting the sum of the numbers to be either 9, 10, 11 or 12, all these values, they, they constitute the favorable event set for us. So 6 is a valid value in the sample space because 6 plus 6 is 12, which is greater than 8. Similarly, for 6, 5, 5, 6, for 6, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6, all these values, they constitute the favorable event set. So if we try and write the favorable event set, the values we'll get is 6, 6, then 6, 5, comma 5, 6, which is the next diagonal. Then the sum 10 diagonal. So in the sum 10 diagonal, we will get 5, 5, 6, 4, comma 4, 6. Then the sum 9 diagonal. So in the sum 9 diagonal, we'll get values 6, 3, 3, 6, 4, 5, and 5, 4. 
So there is no other value on that diagonal that will give us the sum 9. So this complete set of values gives us the favorable event set in which we are getting the sum of the numbers on both the dice to be greater than 8. Now we have to calculate the number of favorable events. So to the number of favorable events is very simply the total number of elementary events present in the favorable event set. So if we calculate here, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are getting a total of 10 values in which we see that the sum of both the digits on both the dice are greater than 8. Now to calculate the number of total events, this is going to be the same as before. Because our sample space is exactly the same, so the total number of values that we have in our sample space are 6 cross 6, which is 36. So 6 rows and 6 columns. So the total number of events we have is 36. So the probability is again very simple to calculate now since we have all the information with us. The probability will be given by the ratio of number of favorable events and the number of total events. So you can calculate that. So the probability will come out to be 10 by 36. Because the number of favorable events to us getting the sum of the numbers on both the dice to be greater than 8 is 10 as we calculated in this favorable event set. And the total number of events are 36 as we can see from the sample space table. So this is nothing but 5 by 18. So the probability of getting the sum of the numbers on both the dice to be greater than 8 when we roll a pair of unbiased dice is equal to 5 by 18.